Let's just pause there. I hope halfway through, more or less, our, our sort of presentation, and invite her to join us on the stage. Join me on the stage. Just a few of the participants uh, at uh, this uh, Michigan uh, first writing extravaganza, who have um, produced things as um, yes. many others have done, but they're quite uh, well, perhaps not totally satisfied with, but um, think are suitable to present to you now. Please forgive them, and even more, please forgive me if you do notice any mistakes in these. Any mistakes in these are my fault, because I'm supposed to be guiding them, and I have looked these things over, so may I call her, if there is a call her, <laughs> and I uh, hope there isn't, and I hope you will admire what they've done in so, so short a time. So the four people I would invite to come up on stage are, um, none of them, in fact, are university level uh, teachers of Latin, Two are high school teachers, and uh, two are what we like, what Gina politely refers to as armchair Latinists. Uh, one a mm -hmm. stockbroker by profession, one a uh, retired uh, librarian. Um, and I'll introduce them very briefly, and then ask them again, quite briefly, to tell you a little bit in English about the um, inspiration for their poems, which has, in most cases, come during this uh, this few days of um, verse writing study in uh, Michigan and then to read in Latin their poem, of which, of course, you don't have the text, but I hope will be reasonably accessible orally after the, the point has been explained. So could I ask um, us all four to come up together, and I'll introduce them briefly. So they are Anthony Cornish, um, R.J. Kelly, uh, Christine Meyer, and uh, Peter Gulievich. 